In the age of social media and online business, cameras have become a necessary part of your success. Whether it's promotional photography, or social media posts, or even Zoom meetings, at some point, you're gonna have to be on camera for your business. But what if you hate the way you look? Hey. I'm Dizzy Parker from Different Side Media, helping you turn your business into a brand. Today, we are discussing why you hate the way you look on camera and how to fix Three it. Three things that you are completely in control of. When you get those locked down, you are much more confident with the way you look in pictures. First, angle. Whether it be your facial angle or your body angle or a combination of both, that can drastically affect the way you look in pictures. If you are not super confident in either one of those, there are ways to adjust just. So first, let's talk about facial angles. Everybody's face is unique. You have a unique shape, you have unique features, and both sides of your face look completely different. Check this out. This side of my face looks totally different than this side of my face. Features are just different. And even more so, if I look dead on, I look completely different once again. I'm giving a different appearance and I'm conveying a different message. If you want to change the features of your face, you have to find the right angle for your face. Pick a side, test it out. Also, if you want to have more defined facial features, a common tip in photography, modeling, etc., is to stick your chin out just a little bit. You'll notice that it doesn't look very comfortable. I'm leaning a bit and now your jaw is more defined. That helps with a couple of things. Lengthens your face. If you have a little double chin action, I've been there, no shame. Helps to hide that. It stretches your skin and also stretches your face here, reducing wrinkles. Now let's discuss those body angles. If you are not super confident in your body, the way that you hold your body could make a difference. Let's say that you want to make your waist appear smaller. The way to do that is to get it further away from the camera, one way or another. You could stick your chest out a little bit more, hands on hips if that's your thing, or you could stick your shoulders back, lift your chest, makes you taller. That also slims the waistline because you're more in control of your core muscles. Then maybe you want to relax on one leg. Shift your weight, pick one, figure it out, do a lot of practice. That's the goal here practice so you can find what makes you look best in pictures. Trust me, I've done it. I've taken a lot of pictures. I found what works and what doesn't. For instance, this doesn't work. Not my look. It's not. So maybe figure that one out for yourself. Facial angles, body angles. The next thing I'd like to discuss is lighting. Lighting can drastically change the way you look in pictures. Right now, I've got some slightly more dramatic lighting, so it's at a higher angle, and then there's a shadow on this one side of my face, but watch what happens when I change the angle of the light. So now it's underneath. Now you see more shadows. You see more wrinkle action up here and it just shows different features of my face. And also it's kind of creepy because you know, horror movies used to do this to distort your features. It pushes things up. But if that's the look you're going for, maybe, maybe you can go for that. Also, let me show you what happens when you turn the light off. Now it's hiding a whole lot, but the small amount of light that is here it shows every single crease that it comes in contact with. Even lighting helps a ton. Use window lighting if you're taking social media posts or doing a call or whatever. Lighting is very important. One I would stay away from is harsh overhead lighting like this. This is what most people's light looks like in their house or in office buildings. You can see that that is not very flattering. It sinks my eyes in, it shows my forehead in a weird way. It's not super flattering. So find the lighting that works best for you, but most of the time that is gonna be a diffused of some sort at a high even angle. If you want even more, you can bring some light in. Now you can't see any lines or wrinkles for the most part. It's very washed out. That's why they make ring lights because they go right around your face and it evenly washes out your features a little bit, softens it. That's a trick they use in Hollywood. The ladies get a beauty light. That's usually the director's call, but it's the one that comes right in front of their face. The last factor is a little bit more advanced and it might or might not be in your control, depending if you're using a photographer 
or you're photographing yourself. But that is camera lenses. If you have a more advanced camera, a DSLR or mirrorless camera, you have interchangeable lenses. Depending on the focal length, your face could look drastically different in a camera. So what I'm going to do here is demonstrate that with the lenses that I have available. I have a wide angle lens, a medium focal length, and then the telephoto lens. And I'm just going to show you the difference in my face with different lenses. I'm going to do my best to keep my face and my body in the same size, but I'm going to have to move the camera across the room. This is my 11 to 16 millimeter wide angle lens. It has its very own look. This is a 35 millimeter lens, and as you see, the room has changed, but that's what lenses do. It's changed the shape of my body, my neck is a little bit thicker, my face is a little bit more square, and I have to stand further away from the camera. And this is a 50 millimeter, most of the time used for portraits, and you can see that it has compressed my features just a little more, and now my shoulders are a little bit wider. But this is probably closer to what I look like in real life depending on where you're standing. As you see there, with every different focal length, my face looks completely different. My body looks completely different. And if you have your own DSLR or mirrorless camera, your choice of lens could be affecting whether or not you even like your pictures. So that's something to be aware of and practice. Try different things out and find out what you like the best. This tip can also apply to smartphones. If you're taking pictures with your iPhone or your not iPhone, the way that you zoom on that camera has the same effect. So if somebody's taking pictures of you and you don't like the way it looks, ask them to step forward or step back and zoom in. That could affect the way you look and it can give you a drastically different appearance such as this. So I want to know what you think. Did this help you find some confidence for your next photo shoot or do you feel like you're probably going to think the same no matter what? Let me know in the comments. If the video gave you some value, give me a like. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I'll see you next time.